Hi there, in this video I want to describe how you can do some re rewriting uh, of your existing content um, to make it different, uh, maybe more powerful, more engaging, depending on what your goal is. Uh, Chibi has several ways that you can do rewriting and I'm going to show off a few here. Uh, let's see, let's go to one of my documents here. We'll go to this uh, starting the first vegetable garden. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, the, the paragraph shredder way first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this paragraph here and I'm going to basically shred it down to a, a series of leads. And then I have two options. So I want to show you um, what that looks like. So I'm going to I highlight this and I open up my command palette and I just type in shred. So I have paragraph shredder here as the option and, and it says shred a selection of content into a series of leads to expand upon. Right. So I'm going to do that. And essentially what, what Chibi has done is just kind of chopped those up um, into some leads. Now, if you remember from any other videos here in Learn Chibi, a lead is that fragment of a sentence that you give Chibi before you click the right button so that he has something to take off from. So um, let's do a quick review. Uh, these are the leads here, cultivating your own. I'm just gonna add guard in here so that he uh, has a little bit more context. And here's where I've got a couple of options. I can use the right button here and Chibi's gonna write, you know, probably to the finish of the sentence and probably a little bit more after that or a lot more after that, it just kind of depends. Right now we're in article mode. It's the sort of least creative mode, but if we don't like the content that comes back and we want a little bit more creative freedom in the word choices and stuff that Chibi can use, change the mode to a different one. As you go to the right with story mode being the most creative, it kind of jumps up in creativity. There are some other little settings in the background, but I wouldn't really concern yourself with them too much. Uh, these are just more or less for for your purposes, to make it easier to understand. It's kind of just creativity levels. Okay, so I'm gonna hit write because what I'm gonna try to do in this rewrite is I actually wanna expand upon the content. So I'm gonna expand upon this one here just by hitting the right button and let, it, let Chibi take over and, and add something there. Right, okay. So he didn't finish that sentence. I got a couple of choices. Um, I can remove it or I can ask Chibi to finish it for me with the finish button. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it because I don't wanna expand on it too much. Now, here we got the taste is far superior. Um, let's add a little bit more lead to this. The taste is far superior too. And then I'm gonna hit the finish button because I don't want Chibi to write too much. I'm just wanna let him finish. <laughs> superior to Romaine. Okay, that's not what we want, right? So we can try a couple things. I can try command backslash to do a rewrite and just let him try again. And see, he's kind of stuck on on like a specific type of, of vegetable. And so that's not what we really want. And so let's try and be a little bit less creative with Chibi. The taste is far superior to uh, vegetables you'll find in the, let's try this. Let's go ahead and hit finish, which is shift command enter. If you're a keyboard uh, find in the store. Okay, we can try and rewrite the against heat. Yep. So we're in article mode which means least amount of creativity and finish is also one of the ones that's kind of, he's going to try to pick probably the most probable word. So let's see if we can bump this up to a different one and then come back here and do finish again see if he writes something else. Nah, we're just too close to the end of that sentence. And, and you can run into that sometimes, you know, he's basically thinking, okay, this is the end. I'm just going to finish it off there. And it's probably true. The taste is far superior to vegetables you'll find in the store, but we could do something like this because, and let's see if he finishes it differently. There we go. So we get a little bit better content that, that we have uh, uh, than we did previously. Plus they're healthier because, now there is a vague term, right? But there's context above here, right? He's got some, some information to go from. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the right one, right button here, which is command enter on the keyboard and see if he can add some more content to that for me. There we go. It's not bad at all. Cool. Okay. And again, we've got a sentence that didn't end. I uh, may pick a container. Let's go ahead and just let Chibi finish that sentence. Okay. Container options. Okay. 
Now, this is a pretty chunky paragraph. Let's let's go ahead and cut this. So I'm going to go to the command palette and just do a search for cut, which is the mobile cut feature that basically breaks down bigger paragraphs into smaller ones so mobile readers are less annoyed with it. Um, starting your first garden. Oops, let's, let's give them a little bit more context. Starting your first garden can be, and we'll just let Chibi write. Right. So, okay. Very nice. Okay. So here's the thing, right? We started off with one paragraph and we decided at the beginning of this that we wanted to expand upon it. Like this one paragraph now has become, you know, what is this? We start right about here, right? Um, yep. So it has become 290 words. So that would be a rewriting situation where we want to kind of expand on our original content. Uh, we can also kind of go back here. Let's see, let's go all the way back to where we have just those leads again. Cultivating your own garden can be a very, let's just add a little bit to it and then we'll use just finish, which is this icon right here. You can click that or, or uh, command shift uh, enter or, or return. Uh, cultivating your garden can be a very rewarding hobby, yes. We don't need to double vary. And um, the taste is far superior to, and we'll do finish again. Yep, be, they're, plus they're healthier because, let's do finish again. Okay, starting your first, let's see if he picks up on garden. Yep, okay. All it takes is a little planning and let's see what he does. I'm just using finish after every one of these now because I'm trying not to expand too much upon it. Um, let's see if it gives us something different. Okay, here's how to. It's very, very vague lead, but let's go ahead and see what Chibi does. Okay, good enough. All right, now we take all this and we open up the command palette and we do join paragraphs to make it back into our paragraph. So this is our newly rewritten paragraph. It's a little bit more of the manual way of doing it. Uh, but what this will end up doing is giving you the maximum amount of control or the results so that you as the writer can spend that time to inject your style, your flair into it and really turn it into something that's yours that you, you know that you wanna deliver for your reader. So that's one way of doing the rewriting. Let's go ahead and go to one of my other documents here. Let's go to this cafe one. Okay, um, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use this rewrite button over here. And you can actually use this in a couple of different ways. I'm gonna click on here first because I want you to get into the habit of clicking on that to see what the button does and see how you need to use it. In this case, it says it takes the last paragraph and rewrites it. Now in Chibi, last paragraph means something. And I want you to look down here in help. And if you go to the manual, there's a template variables thing here, right? And we have these variables, which you would use in your own custom templates. And you can see that we have things like title, topic, content, last paragraph, which is what this tool wants, right? This rewrite tool wants the last paragraph. And we have several options like that last sentence, first paragraph, first sentence, and some other, other variables and stuff. Just something to be aware of when you're using Chibi that those kind of keywords have a little bit of meaning to them. So what last paragraph means is wherever your cursor is in your, in your editor, the paragraph right above it, right? So if I was way down here, um, see if I was right here, this would be the last paragraph. Now first paragraph is always the first one in the, in the editor. And that means that the first paragraph, which we usually call the seed is, very important for some of the tools. Now in this case, the article, the rewrite tool does not care about it. So what I'm gonna do is I've got two, two different ways I can use this tool. First, I'm gonna show you that what you can do since all it, we know now that it needs the last, the last paragraph. I just click there and I just click the rewrite button. Chibi's gonna take that last paragraph and he's gonna do a rewrite on it following one of our templates here. There we go. 
and we got some names in there. We're in story mode now, so this is very cool because the uh, Perfect Cafe Experience is a little bit of a storytelling uh, type of article, and uh, that's very cool. So there's a, a creative almost rewrite of, of what this is, and that's because we were able to use the rewrite button in story mode, and if we wanted to be a little bit less creative, we could drop it down uh, to a different mode. So that's how you can do it just right there directly in your editor. You can also, if you're the type of writer who prefers not to have that sidebar stuff there and you just want the writing experience and a nice clean kind of method, the command palette is where all your power lies at that point, right? And when you become accustomed to the command palette, you just hit command K and you open your command palette. Now, if you don't know what all the functionality is in the command palette, you can hit this little asterisk right here, which will show everything and you can scroll through all the different stuff that's in here essentially what is in the command palette are some utility functions like you saw with the mobile cut and that kind of stuff but also you have like all of your templates are in there the tools are in there so like all those ai buttons and those tools that are in that tool section and stuff those are all in there um, and if you want to see them all like this just hit that asterisk and that's how you get to them okay so what but what we want to do is we want to rewrite we know that's what we want to do so I have the rewrite command right there. I'm just going to click on that. Since I already have my cursor here, Chibi's going to take that last paragraph and he's going to perform that rewrite. Uh oh, he's looks like he's not rewriting that one. Ah, okay. Sometimes this does happen. So let's go ahead and just do a command backslash and do a redo and let's see if he does something different for us. All right. Not bad, not bad. Slightly less rewrite than the previous one was, but uh, it is rewritten, and um, I do like it. Um, so that's how you would do it if you wanted to use the command palette. Now let's just kind of cut back. And maybe you don't want the content appearing inside of your editor like that. The other way that you can do this, and I'm just going to go ahead and remove this for now, is um, using that tool that I showed you. When you when you look at the at the tool view on the right, it just pops up the little inline tool. Um, you can fill out this form to rewrite different paragraphs, right? So in this case, we want to rewrite this one. So I'm just going to put my cursor at the end of it and just click sync. So now Chibi's gone over here and grabbed that paragraph for me. And now I can choose this, the, the mode I want to uh, Chibi to be in to rewrite. Now this mode is local to this tool. You know, it doesn't change the mode for your main editor, so you don't have to worry about that. This is a, a, a nice way for you to flip between them as you do your writes because, um, well, just let me show you. If I do my first one in story mode, I hit write, the results actually come out down here. So here we go, an empty plate, a empty plate sits in front of me as the barista places my coffee. I'm surrounded by people chattering. Reminded, of, I like that, that's very nice. Okay, so I can come down here and if I wanna put that into my content, I can just come here when I hover over this section, I can click this to write there. Also, uh, one thing to note is you can actually click in here and make changes if you want to make some quick changes before you pop it over. Um, but I can just do this. Boop. There we go. Now, I'm re actually replacing that first paragraph, so normally I would delete that. But just for testing, I, I do want to keep the original paragraph for now. Now, this one was written in story mode. You can see that here because it shows the story label. But if I drop it down to persona and hit right, now we're going to get another paragraph. This one's going to stay there and it's just going to drop down. And we're going to have one that was written in persona mode. And we can do some comparison and we can maybe even if we wanted to, let's just go ahead and get one created from, from each of the modes. And we'll do our own just sort of comparison. And if there's one that we prefer, um, then we can use that. Looking out at the busy streets below, I observe people going about their daily business. I see young moms with their kids. Yeah, this is not bad. Um, and we can also see how many words it is. 63 words on this one, 58, 73, and 65. When you hover over it in the lower right-hand corner over here, you get that in the, in the character count. I'm sitting on the second floor of a downtown cafe in the heart of... Okay, so that one didn't write, rewrite too much. Um, I'm seated overlooking the bustling street below young moms in fancy shoes <laughs> oversized coats dash about vintage slurm that's actually pretty nice too um so anyways my point is that with the tool method you actually have the ability to kind of rewrite a bunch of different ways and see which you prefer pick the one you want now i like i say in every video this 
inline sidebar tool here. It does not store your results. So if there's something in here that you want, make sure you copy it out either into your editor or make a copy of it and paste it somewhere in another tool or something, or I mean in a, like a notepad or a, or notes or something so that you don't lose it. And if you want to write all of these, if you want to keep them all in your editor, in your content, you can hit click write all and he'll copy everything over. And if you don't want any of it, you can just click here to clear everything. So that's doing it inside of the tool. And then finally we have the block editor. Now, this is another way of doing it. Um, and essentially what's going on here is you just have a different view of your content. It's just a bunch, it, it gets put into blocks instead of a solid editor, which usually means it's really good for like rearranging your content, um, but you can also do rewrites. So the way you would do that, um, there's a couple things to keep in mind. When you hit this command, this is the command palette, but it's doing it in the block editor. And I'm, this this one right here is the first block at the top. You notice it has the the seed label there to let you know that it's it's acting right now as the seed for your content. Uh, the thing is that there's no context above this, so I can click on this command palette and I can do my rewrite. And what Chibi's going to do is he's going to take this content and he's going to use that for the rewrite and then drop another block down below here. Um, two years old sitting is okay <laughs> a little interesting uh, rewrite I would probably edit it out a little bit and change it up but a rewrite nonetheless now what happens when you get down here a little further though is by default Chibi's using more context right he's gonna use this and he's gonna use this and more and more and more right now you don't have to worry about it too much usually because the if you remember that rewrite command uses last paragraph. So Chibi knows to only use the last block. But if you're ever in a situation where you feel like he's using too much context, if you hold down shift when you click on this command palette, it will focus Chibi to use only that block's content, which means that you have a little bit more control over that. And I can do rewrite on this and we just go. Now, if there's something that I like and I want to keep it, I can come over here, click this copy button, which flashes it once so you know that it has been copied and then pasted over here into my notes. And you can just go back and forth if there's things that you want to rewrite and keep or not keep. And if there's a block that you want to keep, I mean that you want to copy the content out of, let's say like like in this case, let's say empty plate sits, right? Let's say I want to keep this one. If I hold down shift, I mean, I don't want to keep the block, but I want to keep the content. I hold down shift and I click that. The block goes away, but I do have the contents in my in my clipboard for me to paste into my notes so i'm able to kind of bounce back and forth and do my full rewrite if i wanted to do it right here in the block editor and over here on the sidebar we also have access to uh, a navigation system to where like let's say that i'm down here and let's see this one says many people are surprised when they find out let's go ahead and click on there so we can we can get up to this content and it says many people are surprised when they find out okay so you know, it's it's one of those things where you can just kind of move around in your content and the block editor makes it easy to do those rewrites on, on individual blocks as you as you want to. And yeah, that's doing rewriting in Chibi in multiple different ways. And if you have any feedback, go ahead and jump over into the Chibi community and let me know what you think. And if uh, there's anything else I can do to help you understand rewriting in Chibi better. And there's... Uh, possibly more to come on this. Um, this technically is one tool specifically designed to rewrite in a certain way, but we might be able to do some more custom type of rewrites. But also you yourself could build your own rewrite templates that do the rewriting in exactly the way that you want. And that might be something that you explore as you become more comfortable with Chibi. So until next time, take care.